Welcome to this tutorial on creating a codebook. Basically, I just want to show you the basic steps on how to do this. So I have opened, I have opened many projects, but I want to show you, show it to you based on this project here. So we see here my code list and we see that most of these codes have a definition so you see that here based on the little tilde sign at the end of it and of course all these codes with a comment they have a little post-it note here attached to the icon there are different ways of outputting codes you have the code list and you have code with comments but that doesn't really give you a good code book it's just uh, gives you lots of other information as well um, for it and it's still working here it is and here it comes yeah so you get this but you also get the also when it was created modified and so on so well this doesn't look so good as an outline of first uh, way of formatting a code book so there's a better option and that is via the xml style sheet so if you click here on the xml button then you see a number of style sheets which are already written for you and it allows you to create a number of different types of outputs um, based on the XML format that Atlas provides. So you're welcome also to write your own style sheets. Here there are some um, introduction here as well as to do this or some demo style sheets. But of course you need to know a bit about XML and writing style sheets if you wanted to write your own. So this is kind of prefabricated for those um, like me who cannot write style sheets um, themselves. But I had a colleague um, whom I'm told uh, kind of different ideas of what the type of outputs that might be interested, interesting for users. And uh, that's why we have all of these style sheets. So there's one for codebook. You basically double click. And what do we need? We only we don't need documents, we don't need the quotes, we just want the codes with comments. So we can just use that reduced version here. And it's creating it now. And it's always, the output is always an HTML file. And this one we can now copy and paste. So I highlight everything and copy that. And move into Word. And here I just open a new document and paste it in here. So it's so here for some reason it makes this small column here or this small table. But of course now you can um, widen it and uh, do some formatting to have like a nicely looking table here and what we want is I guess the definition field to be a bit larger let me just increase this now so so if you don't want the author well now these are all columns you can highlight the columns and do some formatting so what the second one is that can be of course smaller um, is the code color. So we get here my first category with all these attribute codes. Then we have something the children make happy. So this is starting um, with my category code is with no, no definition at this point here and then all different colors. And then you can do some formatting here and produce a code book as you like so quite straightforward just remember um, I guess go through the the basic um, steps here save this one here yeah you click on the XML button select codebook as option Atlas produces then an HTML output, which of course you can also save. And based on that, 
you copy and paste your table into Word and do some formatting there. Of course, you don't need to keep the blue colors. I mean, all of that is table formatting in Word from now. Yeah, that, that was about it. Goodbye.